Hello, I'm Damien Hyam from Denver Water. And I'm Austin Parker from Corolla Engineers. Today, we'd like to tell you about the Pure Water Colorado demonstration project. Here in Colorado, we are facing a number of water challenges. We're one of the driest states in the country, and combined with a growing population and the impacts of climate change, our state needs to continually look at new ways to use our water efficiently. Colorado has a history of water innovation, and that tradition continues with the Pure Water Colorado project. This demonstration project purifies treated wastewater and produces safe, clean drinking water. Let's take a look. This is where our process begins. The water that we're purifying in our demonstration facility comes over from Metro Wastewater. We bring it over, run it through our five-step purification process, making it safe to drink. Ozonation is the first step in our advanced water purification process. Ozone is a powerful oxidant that destroys microorganisms and trace chemicals. Secondary treated wastewater comes in, is dosed with ozone, and then travels through these four contact chambers. While in the contact chambers, the ozone breaks down organic matter and adds oxygen to the water supply. After the organic matter has been broken down and a higher oxygen content is in the water, it's ready for biofiltration. What we've got here is our biological filtration unit. It consists of the tower you see in the background. Water comes in at the top, flows down through the media. That media is home to microscopic organisms that pull out the organic matter left over from the previous process, as well as chemical constituents. Same way you'd find in nature, we just shrink it down to a smaller footprint and make it happen a little faster. Inside this cartridge are thousands of fibers. These fibers are straw-like with pores on the outside. When water is pushed through these straws, what we don't want to stay in the water, like pathogens, trace constituents, and organic matter goes up through the middle of these straws. These straws have thousands of tiny pores on the outside that are 1 100th the diameter of a human hair. Clean water that we do want to collect for the next step in the treatment process is pushed out through these pores, collected, and then sent to the granular activated carbon filter. The next step in our process is granular activated carbon. Water will come through these pipes here, get pushed through these barrels. The barrels are filled with granular activated carbon, a charcoal-like substance. So the carbon here has a lot of surface area and pores that help to attract the chemical constituents and organic matter that we're removing from the water. That cleaned water then moves on to the next step in the process. In the UV advanced oxidation process, the UV light damages the DNA of microorganisms, making them unable to replicate. At the same time, the advanced oxidation process is generating radicals that destroys the trace constituents. After the water's gone through all five steps of our treatment process, it comes out here. Purify water ready for drinking. Cheers. Cheers. The treatment steps you just saw in our demonstration project can create a new supply of high quality drought proof water for Colorado. This approach to reusing water replicates the natural water cycle. And the more recycled water we use, the less water we have to take out of our groundwater supplies, our rivers, and our streams. Denver Water hosted this project, but there are a number of partners who helped make this possible, including the Colorado Water Conservation Board, Water Reuse Colorado, Corolo Engineers, Xylem, Paul Corporation, and Calgon Carbon. Thank you for checking out the Pure Water Colorado demonstration project. We appreciate you taking the time to see how we can make the most of our water, because here in Colorado, water is too valuable to use just once.